Imagine driving down the highway with your vehicle fueled by water, the most plentiful resource on the planet rather than petroleum. This is a fascinating potential that scientists and engineers have been investigating for decades. It's not a scene from a futuristic science fiction film. There's mystery, ingenuity, and the prospect of a cleaner, greener future in the pursuit of using water as a fuel source. From Stanley Meyer's mysterious inventions to NASA's state-of-the-art research. Join us as we explore the fascinating world of water-powered engines and learn how this cutting-edge technology has the potential to completely change the way we think about energy and transportation. The electrolysis method is usually used in water-powered motors to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Then this hydrogen can be utilized as fuel. Water is electrolyzed by running an electric current across it, dividing the molecules into their constituent gases. The hydrogen generated can be utilized to produce electricity in fuel cells or combustion engines. As the Industrial Revolution continued, the need for other energy sources grew. Not many notable developments occurred in this subject until the late 20th century. Water-powered engines provide a plethora of potential advantages, such as lower greenhouse gas emissions, less dependency on fossil fuels, and the potential for an almost endless fuel supply. However, many technological and financial obstacles must be resolved before such technology may be used widely. Stanley Meyer was one of the most well-known advocates of water-powered engines. Meyer claimed to have created a water fuel cell that was more effective than conventional electrolysis at converting water into hydrogen and oxygen. His creation offered the possibility of using water to power automobiles in the future, significantly lowering our reliance on fossil fuels. But Meyer's work was surrounded by criticism and the mystery surrounding his invention grew after his premature death. Myers stated that his water fracturing technique could fracture water molecules with less energy than other techniques, and this technique served as the foundation for his water fuel cell. He displayed his invention in a number of public settings, drawing a lot of interest as well as skepticism. Meyer's study encouraged a new generation of scientists to investigate the possibilities of water-powered engines, despite the controversy surrounding them. Researchers are still investigating the possibilities of water-powered engines today. NASA has looked into the possibility of using electrolysis to propel spacecraft, showing that water can be a practical fuel source in some situations. This is especially useful for space travel, as it's not practical to transport significant volumes of conventional fuel. Spacecraft may be able to refuel in space by using resources like ice from the Moon or Mars, as water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen. Additionally, the fantasy of water-powered automobiles is getting closer thanks to developments in hydrogen fuel cell technology. Water is the only byproduct of hydrogen fuel cells operation, which produces electricity by mixing hydrogen and oxygen. Numerous applications, including automobiles, buses, and even submarines, have effectively used this technology. The potential of this technology is demonstrated by the development of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles by companies like Toyota and Hyundai, which are currently available on the market. These cars are a strong substitute for battery electric cars, especially in areas where quick refilling and longer driving distances are required. Even with the encouraging studies, there are still a lot of obstacles to be solved. Two main obstacles are the efficiency of electrolysis and hydrogen storage. If the electricity required for electrolysis is not derived from renewable sources, the environmental benefits may be outweighed by the process's high energy requirements. Significant amounts of CO2 are still released during the present techniques of manufacturing hydrogen, which mostly involve natural gas reforming. This raises concerns about the process's overall sustainability. Hydrogen is also a highly combustible gas, which makes transportation and storage difficult. Hydrogen fueling is more expensive and difficult since it needs to be kept at cryogenic temperatures or in high-pressure tanks. Hydrogen fueling infrastructure is still in its early stages of development. It takes a lot of money and planning to create a network of hydrogen filling stations. 
The current limited development of this infrastructure in a few places worldwide is impeding the wider acceptance of vehicles driven by hydrogen. But with more study and development, water-powered engines might be a major part of our move toward renewable energy sources. These challenges might be addressed by the creation of safer storage solutions, more extensive infrastructure, and more effective electrolysis techniques. Furthermore, governmental incentives and policies may be crucial in hastening the advancement and use of hydrogen technology. Several modern approaches are being investigated to raise the viability and efficiency of water-powered engines. One such strategy is to power the electrolysis process with renewable energy sources, including solar or wind power. This might greatly lessen the carbon footprint associated with producing hydrogen and improve the environmental friendliness of water-powered motors. The idea of green hydrogen which is generated with renewable energy is gaining popularity and may offer a long-term viable method of producing hydrogen fuel. The creation of advanced materials for fuel cells and electrolysis systems is another exciting field of study. Researchers are looking into novel membranes and catalysts that could lower prices and improve the efficiency of these processes. For instance, it has been demonstrated that using nanomaterials and sophisticated ceramics can improve the efficiency of hydrogen fuel cells. Further lowering the hazards involved with its use, advances in solid-state hydrogen storage may also offer safer and more effective means of storing hydrogen at lower temperatures and pressures. Many practical uses in case studies demonstrate the possibilities of water-powered motors. To create a hydrogen society, the Japanese government has made significant infrastructure investments in hydrogen. The nation has produced hydrogen-powered trains and buses, and plans are in place to increase the usage of hydrogen across several industries, including heating residential and commercial spaces. As part of its ambitious plans, Japan hosted the Olympics in Tokyo in 2020, using a lot of hydrogen to power the Olympic Village and transport athletes. Hydrogen-powered trucks are being developed in the U.S. by businesses like Nikola Motors, which have the potential to completely transform the transportation sector. Compared to battery electric cars, these trucks have more range and require less time to recharge, which makes them a desirable choice for long-distance travel. Furthermore, many startups and academic institutions are investigating the possibilities of aircraft and drones driven by hydrogen, which could lead to new developments in aviation and logistics. As a crucial element of its upcoming energy policy, hydrogen is likewise being extensively investigated by Europe. Several pilot programs have been started by nations like the Netherlands and Germany to incorporate hydrogen into their transportation and energy systems. These initiatives seek to show off hydrogen's potential as a clean energy source and continue to contribute to the development of the markets and infrastructure required for its widespread use. Water-powered engines have an enormous effect on the environment and the economy. We can prevent climate change and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by decreasing our dependence on fossil fuels. Hydrogen fuel cells are a clean and sustainable energy source because their only byproduct is water vapor. Furthermore, surplus renewable energy might be used to generate hydrogen from water offering an additional energy storage option to supplement sporadic renewable energy sources like sun and wind. Economically, the advancement of water-powered engines may lead to the emergence of new sectors and employment prospects. The hydrogen economy can produce billions of dollars in income and thousands of jobs in the research and development sector, manufacturing, and infrastructure construction. Nations that make investments in hydrogen technology today will be positioned to lead tomorrow's low-carbon economy. We might live in a world where our cars operate on water, the most plentiful resource on the planet, if innovation and funding persist. However, to create a sustainable hydrogen economy, achieving this vision will require overcoming substantial technological, financial, and infrastructure obstacles, in addition to encouraging global cooperation and policy support. What do you think is the most exciting part about the idea of cars running on water? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.